Hello everyone, um, Alex here. Uh, gonna do a review on my Eahora uh, AM100 e bike. Um, this is my one of my newest e bikes. Uh, I had this for a week now, uh, so I could test a little bit about it and tell you a little bit my about my experience uh, with it and what I think about it. Uh, just want to throw it out there. I'm not a bike expert, so I don't know all the bike terms and stuff. Also, uh, this would be my first YouTube review, so I'm not an expert at shooting video either. But um, other than that, let's go and talk about this bike. So, as you can see here, this is a 27.5 uh, by 2.8 uh, wheel size they're pretty big and I'm about 5 foot 11 and this fits me very comfortably it could fit I don't know probably people way taller than me um, it's full suspension uh, for the rear wheel as well as the uh, front shocks which by the way they are able to lock right here you know make them softer or stiffer lock them out for climbing um, it does have disc brakes and it's pretty cool they're hydraulic and also has a true uh, axle uh, um, rod in there so like it goes through the wheel and stuff uh, the really nice thing about this bike is it came mostly assembled you just have to put the front wheel on and the uh, oh there we go and the handlebars on um, but everything you need to put it on, they send with. They send you the wrenches and the Allen wrenches, <laughs> uh, hex keys, whatever you want to call them. Um, so it's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. You do, however, however, uh, sorry, want to make sure everything's tightened because these that just popped off. Um, uh, also. Yeah, make sure everything's tightened when you put, you got to put the pedals on. Um, let's see, this crank arm actually was loose and almost fell off. So that was loose, but other than that, um, I haven't had any problems in a week. Um, sorry about the wind if it's a little bit windy. It's kind of been raining here, so uh, we might get another storm soon. Anyways, let's keep talking. I did, when I received this, this one little piece was missing, but I contact Iahora uh, customer service and they were quick to reply to me and, and the one for the other side's on the way. So, um, I changed the seat because the one that comes with it, um, it's kind of narrow for me. I like a little bit more cushion. Um, you are able to install a rack. The rack doesn't come with it, but I had one from my child seat. And it does have the mount holes, standard mount holes. Um, so it'll, it'll screw right on there. And also has these uh, attachments. Or, there, if it focus, there we go. Right there, so you can actually put these on there. But to me, that was like a design flaw. A uh, flaw. Uh, I can't speak today. Sorry about that. Um, because it's a full suspension bike, so if you have this stiff in there. That won't be able to go up and down and if it does it's gonna bend the crap out of them 
So what I did is I bought this clamps. Uh, they're electric clamps, cushion clamps from um, Home Depot or Menards or whatever your convenience store is. And I just hooked them up to there so that way everything can go up and down on it. Um, so yeah, like I said, hydraulic brakes. They're actually very nice. You don't really have to squeeze at all. Um, let's see. They are uh, I'm trying to focus there. Oh, maybe it's not gonna work. These are Logan brakes. I'm not familiar with, honestly, I don't know what good name brands are anyways. Um, I believe it's a uh, nine speed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, a nine speed. And it's actually the motor I don't think it's a Bafang or anything, any brand, because uh, I would think I think this is their very own motor, this which has the E Pass or whatever you call it. And I tested that; it does work. Yeah, so so I guess it's kind of like a uh, how would I put it? Uh, maybe like in my pickup. Let's see. So the closest I can describe is kind of like an exhaust brake. Like in my pickup, it's got an exhaust brake and it slows you down. But what the bike does, um, when it does that, it kind of slows you down a little bit, but it puts some juice back in your battery. Uh, and that works very all right. Basically when you uh, have it on level one and you're going above 15 miles an hour, it's gonna put juice back in your battery also if if you're coasting down on a hill or something and you're going on level zero or something that's gonna be the most efficient one um, it puts a little bit of juice back in your battery to make your ride a little bit longer and the battery it's a 48 volt uh, I think 10.4 amp hour battery it's pretty slick. It's got that USB port. You can charge something and then also it shows you how much power you got there. The paint and the quality of this bike is amazing. It's actually, I believe it's powder coated, but it's like a flat black. It's not like a glossy black, which I really like. Um, I really wanted the green army color looking one, but they were all out of stock and I was just able to get this. Um, I see, however, they starting, they starting to uh, put out the uh, plus edition on green. And basically this, it's the same thing the only difference I could tell on the plus, which is a hundred bucks more than this, I believe, is that it's got a color display and it shows you a little bit more. But I mean, to me, this is fine, and you save a hundred bucks or so. Um, so, yeah, you got your throttle, uh, your level assist level plus minus and then you got your lights and your info button got a little bell here and then all your gears and then you got all your gears here which reminds me I have to do a little bit of adjustment on it um, so 
so right out of the box uh, this was bent during chipping and uh, so it did this is a guard and it did its job of preventing the derailleur to get damaged but this was bent back pushing this forward so it wasn't allowed the derailleur to go into the lowest um, here <laughs> I can't think of the word right now um, so it was acting up and once I figured that it was the, just that I just pulled it out with some players and and then uh, and then I had to do a little bit of adjustments with the uh, barrel here uh, but other than that the bike works amazing So yeah, the tires are 2.8 and they're not skinny and they're not really fat. They're plus, consider plus. But they ride amazing in gravel roads or anything. Um, I think I put, let me see how many miles I have on this. So far I got 28 miles on it. I haven't been able to ride a whole lot because um, the weather here has been kind of crappy. It's been raining, cold, windy, and whatnot. But yeah, other than that, I really like this bike. Um, the only thing, I guess, I don't like a whole lot is all the stickers. It's got a lot of stickers on it. Like all these stickers. I think if it was just uh, the one in the battery and nothing else, it would look pretty sharp. It would be like a flat black. Uh, really stealthy looking bike which it is I mean for the price it is compared to other bikes this is an amazing deal um, I think this bike is really worth more than what it really is so yeah that's about everything I can think of right now if you have any questions for me uh, please be sure to leave it on the comments. I'll try to answer them as fast as I can. Um, I can't think a whole lot more what to say about it. Besides it's great. But yeah, right at the top of my mind I can't think of anything else. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned because I have a couple other bikes I have coming. Uh, so I will make more reviews on them and maybe later on I'll try to make a little bit better video about this bike but for now this is it you know I haven't seen a whole lot of videos about this bike and I really think it's really underrated it it really is a powerhouse and um, it's it's a really good deal for what you get in it looks way better in person and you won't regret it anyways I'll see you next time thanks for watching